Hey, this is Tyler with Turf Tech, and today I'm gonna walk you through the uh, just a basic overview on how to swap out the transmission drive belt on the Turf Tech tractor. So we've got uh, we've got a couple different examples up here on our assembly line, and just wanted to walk through briefly on how that process um, how that process is is easiest to perform. So, in order to get the transmission drive belt off, which would be the first step in, in changing it out, we would need to take off this rear plate here, the fan cover, fan shroud, which is covering the uh, transmission fan, and that will give us easier access to the drive belt, which is right underneath here. So that's the belt that you're gonna be looking to swap out um, and normally the indicator of having a uh, drive belt issue where one is worn out or needs to be replaced is that the transmission is lacking in power. That normally means that the uh, transmission belt has worn out a little bit, it's stretched, and it started slipping. Um, okay, so first step was to take the fan shroud off. Then the uh, best practice for getting the drive belt off, so here we have an example of where the drive belt's already off, but in, the easiest way to get the drive belt off is to actually take a short screwdriver and uh, pry underneath the drive belt, just try and pry the screwdriver up onto this lip. So you go underneath the belt and have it pried up here onto the lip and you just wanna hold it there and then you can pull the recoil slowly and what that will do is it will rotate the crank on the engine and it'll slowly rotate the belt around and it'll pop the belt right off of this rear pulley. Once you have the belt off of that pulley, then you can work the belt around underneath. So this is where the belt will be when it's installed on this tractor up here on this top pulley see that underneath here where it is installed and then once once that belt is loose now we get to the next step and the next step is I don't know if we can see it underneath here but there's two connection points that you need to remove in order to get the belt routed around the bottom here so if you were trying to take this belt off you have two things that are in the way so first one is on the right hand side of the machine so we're always talking about orientation on the machine like we're standing behind it it's on the right hand side of the machine it's this gold colored uh, bracket that is holding the clutch stationary in place all you need to do is take this top nut off here and then you can move that bracket up and just rotate it out of out of the way it doesn't doesn't need to come completely off you don't need to take that back nut off just the front nut rotate that out of the way the second connection point is on the opposite side on the left hand side of the tractor and that is going to be the clutch cable now it'll look different depending on what vintage of tractor you have maybe you don't have a clutch maybe you have a 1304 model of the machine and it's got an edger that's permanently attached to it um, that might look a little different under here but same concept this cable needs to be removed by again removing this nut on top then pulling the washer off and then this spring has a hook on it take that hook take it off the bolt and just lay it off to the side then you will be able to take this belt off and bring it all the way forward and slip it underneath the clutch and remove it out from underneath the tractor. And then to reinstall the belt, you just do the opposite, just reverse the whole process. We would take the drive belt, slip the new drive belt under here, then we pull it up over the clutch, get it over this front pulley first, under the drive pulley for the engine, get it routed there, and then the trick to getting it back on this pulley is to start the drive belt over the back side 
of this pulley. Now I don't have one handy to show you exactly, but you start the drive pulley or start the belt on the drive on the front drive pulley on the engine, then you'll start to bring it back here onto this rear pulley and you'll just grab it right here. Once you can get a lip started on the belt, you'll just grab and hold it on the outside of the drive belt with your thumb. Just kind of hold it there. And then again, we're repeating the process of slowly pulling the recoil and that will effectively suck the belt right onto that rear pulley. And then you reinstall the, the fan shroud, which is on top here again. So two bolts there to reinstall that fan shroud. Go ahead and reconnect uh, the clutch bracket underneath and reconnect the uh, clutch engagement uh, wire or clutch engagement cable, excuse me, on the clutch itself. And when you tighten this down, another, another pro tip here, do not tighten this nut all the way down. You can tighten it all the way down when you're putting the clutch spring back in here, but we need to leave a little bit of wiggle room in here. That's very important so that the spring can rotate as you pull the clutch engagement further back. If you tighten that down completely and smash the, um, the spring in here and trap it completely without giving it any room to move, uh, what will happen is that spring will break uh, fairly rapidly. Normally within about an hour of usage it'll, it would break. So again, just be sure that you tighten this nut down and then back it off a half, half turn in there. And that's, that's the whole process, essentially from start to finish. Um, skipped a couple minor steps in there, but it gives you a better understanding of how that process normally goes. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this video is helpful. If you need any uh, more assistance with the machine, please give us a call directly here at TurfTech. Thanks for your time.